Hey, thanks for coming back to the Minuteman Prep YouTube channel. My name is Ben. I'm going to be helping a customer who sent me an email to info at poweredportablesolar.com. Uh, they want to know what it's going to take to run their equipment and have emergency backup power. Now, I love doing this. This is actually my favorite part of my job is helping people figure out exactly what system is going to work best for them. There are a few things I like to know generally uh, that help me a lot figure out what system is going to work best for people. And that is what is the overall goal of the system? What is the budget? Because we definitely want to work within people's budget so they can get better prepared. How soon do you need it? Because there may be systems that are coming out in the near future that could be a better option than what's available now, but that's not always the case. What city and state? This isn't so I can creep in on you guys. That's why I'm not asking for specific addresses. But if I at least know the city and state, I can look up the solar conditions uh, for the year, find out solar peak hours, and really customize that kit to the location to make sure it's going to be properly suited. Now, if you do send your actual address, then I can even look at the property and the roof and find ideal locations for putting those solar panels and the easiest and cheapest way to do that. But I'm not trying to gather anybody's information unless they want to share it. And then, of course, the last thing is what do you want to run off of that backup system? So the, the overall goal may be going off grid it may be running vital essentials. It may be for the RV, maybe for van life, maybe for off grid cabin. All of those things I've helped with many, many times in the thousands of times. So I'm very familiar with these systems and this is truly what I love doing. And in this case, this gentleman wants to be able to run his well pump, which is 240 volts, which is 99.9% .9 of the time the case. He's got two full-size refrigerators. He does not need help with lighting. He says he has that covered, but he does want to be able to charge his phones and run the Wi-Fi. And usually when people are running the Wi-Fi, that also includes the TV. So we'll factor that in as well. And then he also says he wants to run his furnace and the furnace is oil. So it means it's not using electric heat in order to heat the house. So propane, natural gas, oil are gonna be way easier to run on a backup system than a, an electric heater. And then a forced hot water heater. I wanna take you through the steps of building this system. And so let's go ahead and get right into that. We do the math here, factoring in the well pump. So the well pump is gonna require 240 volts power. Now he was interested in either the Titan solar generator or the Delta Pro. Both are really, really good options. Actually, all this noise you hear behind me right now, I'm running a huge test on a Titan solar generator. So if you're interested in seeing a test like that, where I personally find out what these systems can and cannot do, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. But in this case, because he needs 240 volt power, unfortunately the Titan's not gonna be a good option for him because the Titan doesn't do 240. They can only do 120 volt power. 120 volt power is your normal wall outlet. 240 volt power is the really big black outlets usually with either three really big or four really big prong holes in it. And generally 240 is gonna be for things like electric ovens, uh, electric clothes dryers. You may have an electric vehicle charging plug. Uh, all of those are gonna be common 240 volt outlet things. So with the well pump, it's probably going to use anywhere between 1300 and 1500 watts to run, but it's only going to be running for maybe 15 minutes per hour on average. That's mostly going to be during the day because you're going to be doing a shower, you're going to be washing dishes or cooking, whatever it is, not going to be using it for a whole hour every hour. We'll say it uses 1500 watts. If we're going to use 1500 watts for 25% of one hour, then it's gonna consume about 375 watt hours per hour. And that's mostly gonna be during the day, not necessarily at night, but that should include in the morning and the evening because people are usually taking showers or cooking in the morning as well as uh, the same in the evening. And in the morning and evening, you don't have good sun. So it's gonna be all on the battery. The two fridges, we're gonna account for that. The Wi-Fi, we're gonna say there's a TV in there for at least uh, you know, four to six hours a day. That's pretty typical for a lot of people. Now with the phone chargers, it's almost nothing on these systems because the phone battery is so small and the batteries in these backup systems are so large. You're only gonna be using about 10 to 15 watt hours total which is essentially nothing on these systems. So we're not going to factor that in. And then the furnace. Now the furnace is an oil furnace, so it's not gonna be using electric heat, which is, means it's gonna be 120 volt power and it's gonna be running just the blower. But that's one of the nice things of these backup power stations is they're expandable. So if you find you need more solar or you need more batteries, then it's definitely possible to do that. And it's extremely easy to do as well. So factoring all of that in, we're, about 450 watt hours per hour on average for all of the consumption. So to get through a single night, it's gonna need anywhere between 6,700 and 7,000 watt hours of battery capacity. And then we need to be able to recharge that battery capacity in a single day while still running all of that equipment during the day. So factoring that in, 
Uh, we're going to say he's got five solar peak hours because that's fairly average for the U.S. And then we're going to factor in his original loads. He needs a bare, bare minimum of 1,800 watts of solar. Now, in this setup, it's always best to add at least 10, if not 20% more on top of everything. So it's easy to say he could get away with a 7,200 watt hour battery and about 2,400 watts of solar. And perfectly on PoweredPortableSolar.com, there is a kit. You go to PoweredPortableSolar.com, shop all products, and then Delta Pro 240 volt kit. And in that listing, there's a Delta Pro 2400 watt using 200 watt panels, 240 volt kit. And what that means is that he'll have a 7200 watt inverter, which is gonna easily run his well pump and his furnace blower. He's gonna have about 7200 watt hours of battery, which is more than the bare minimum that we are looking at here. He's gonna have 2400 watts of solar, which is gonna account for different times of the year, the sun being at yeah, different angles to the, to the solar panels, and has the option to expand. So this is gonna be able to run everything he's talking about and be expandable, so it's future proof. That way if he needs more, he can get more. So fortunately for him, this kit is on sale and when it's on sale, we don't add extra shipping or taxes to it. So it's a huge, huge money saver. According to my calculation here, he would save over $2,000 by ordering it through poweredportablesolar.com, which is a massive savings for him. Hopefully this will help him. If he's interested, we wanna be able to get him these discounts and get everything to him as soon as possible so that he's the most prepared. The only thing he'll have to add if, he, if his house doesn't already have it is an interlock switch. Now an interlock switch is basically a transfer switch that allows you to switch from using grid power to backup power. And that could be a gas generator, it could be a solar generator, whatever the backup power is. And the major advantage to this is it's a very simple install for a local electrician to do. So we can find a local electrician, tell him he wants an interlock switch installed. It's generally less than $1,000 to have that. It always depends on the area and the electrician. And then he's just gonna get an L1430 extension cable, as well as an adapter to go from L1430 style plug to whatever style plug the electrician installs, which is usually an SS2-50. So those adapters can easily be found on Amazon, eBay, sometimes in even local hardware stores, but the bottom line is he would be able to have that installed and be able to run all of this very comfortably as long as it's sunny every day. If he has bad weather, then he can add batteries and more panels to account for that. Or because the Delta Pros have built-in fast chargers, he can also have a gas generator as a backup and recharge those Delta Pros extremely fast in less than two hours each. He could charge both of those at the same time. So he could basically be running his essential loads off of the gas generator while recharging the Delta Pros and exchange two to four hours of gas generator runtime for 24 or 48 or 72 hours of runtime off the battery and solar setup. So it's a huge way to save on gas, propane, or whatever the gas generator is using in order to operate, which means during a long-term grid down situation, whether it's hurricanes or EMP or who knows what it is, that fuel source is gonna last you much, much longer. Now, if you want help finding out what system is gonna be best for you, I am not loyal to a brand. I find whatever system you need for your situation. I test all of these systems personally, so that way I know firsthand how well they work, which includes their pros and cons, and every system has them. And so I'm here to help you figure out what's gonna be best for you and get you the most amount of savings possible. So if that interests you, or if you just found this helpful in knowing what kind of system you would need to run this type of equipment, make sure to smash that like button, reach out to info at Powered Portable Solar if you want that help. And then as well to my Patreon members, you guys know you get direct access to me by being a member at patreon.com slash minutemanprep. You guys are always welcome to reach out to me. I'm going to help you personally with whatever your prep questions are. Be prepared, guys. World's a pretty crazy place right now. Balloons flying around, war in Ukraine. You just never know. So always be prepared. I like to have backup power system. I've got my food storage, water filtration, water storage, all of that. Make sure you have those things squared away. Thanks, guys. See you all in the next video.